we are going to read the book about grasslands today because, you know, we've been talking about habitats and we've already done, oh, we did oceans and we did woodlands or forests and then we did deserts. So now we're going to talk about grasslands. So we're going to start with a book again by Catherine Sill and it's on Epic. Um, I'm going to read it from the screen like I did the last one. I feel like that works out better for me. Um, I hope that you guys can see it okay. So, here we go. All right. Grasslands. It says, in simple, easy to understand language, this guide teaches children that grasslands are what grasslands are and what kinds of animals and plants live there. So, the major grasslands of the world, and it shows you all of these places all over the world where there are grasslands. There are a whole bunch. Right. Grasslands are large open places where most of the plants are grasses. The grasses may be short, tall, or mixed. There's all different types here. Wildflowers grow in some grasslands. The pretty flowers with the butterflies. A few trees and shrubs are found in other grasslands. Look at all the different animals. Some grasslands have hot summers and cold winters. Others are hot all year. Grasslands have times of rain followed by long periods of dry weather. Fire is important to grasslands. It burns away old parts of plants so new ones can grow. Many animals that live in grasslands eat the leaves of grass, like this little grasshopper. Some animals eat grass seeds, like the birds. Others hunt and eat the grass eaters. Ooh, the fox. Some grassland animals stay safe by living in large herds. Many are fast runners since there are few places to hide from enemies. Some grassland animals are able to hide in the grass. Little bird. Others stay safe in underground burrows. A badger. Grasslands provide food for people all over the world. Little bread. Grasslands are important places that need to be protected. All right, on the very first picture, it says plate one, grasslands are dry places that get more rain than deserts, but not enough rain for forests to grow. They are found on every continent except Antarctica. Grasslands cover about one fourth of the land of, on earth. American bison, also called buffalo, are the largest land animal in North America. Huge herds of American bison once grazed on the grasslands of North America. They were almost hunted to extinction in the late 1800s. American bison are now protected and their numbers have slowly increased. On plate two here, the second picture said grasslands in North America are called prairies. Short, or short grass prairies are dry grasslands with short scattered grass plants. Western rattlesnakes sometimes live in burrows made by other animals found in short grass prairies. Prairies with more rainfall have taller, thicker grasses. The grasses in the tall grass prairies may grow up to eight feet tall. White-tailed deer are common in a variety of habitats, including tall grass prairies. Mixed grass prairies have both tall and short grasses. Upland sandpipers are shorebirds that live in this type of open grassland. On plate three, with the butterflies, it says grasses are the most common plants in grasslands. 
but other plants may grow there too. Insects such as bees and butterflies eat nectar from the prairie wildflowers. Regal fri fritillaries live in tall grass prairies on the Great Plains of North America. These butterflies are becoming rare in the many areas because of habitat destruction. Plate four, grasslands scattered with trees and shrubs are called savannas. African savannas are home to many grassland animals. White rhinoceroses, the second largest land animal, have wide square lips that help them graze on grass. Giraffes eat leaves from the trees that grow on the savannas. Impalas feed on green grass during the growing season and on woody plants when the grass is not growing. On template five, it says, uh, temperate grasslands have hot summers and cold winters. In Eurasia, these grasslands are called steppes. Sages are antelopes that live on dry Eurasian steppes. These large drooping noses, or their large drooping noses, may help filter out dust in summer and warm the air they breathe in winter. The antelope's coats are reddish brown in summer, nearly white in winter. Sages are endangered because of illegal hunting and habitat destruction. On plate six, tropical grasslands are located near the equator. They have hot weather year round. These grasslands have two seasons, the rainy season and the dry season. Giant ant eaters live in grasslands and forests in South and Central America. They eat mostly ants and termites. Giant ant eaters use their strong front legs and large claws to dig into the nests of ants and termites. They lap up the insects with their long, sticky tongues. On plate seven, rainfall in temperate grasslands usually comes in late spring and early summer. Some temperate grasslands may get snow in winter. The rainy season in tropical grasslands lasts several months. All grasslands have periods of drought following the rain. To help grasses survive the long spells without rain, the plants stop growing during the dry times. On plate, plate eight, lightning often causes fires in grasslands. Grasses are able to survive fires because even in the upper part of the plant burns, the part that grows underground are not affected by the heat. Frequent fly, fires in grasslands keep most trees and other large plants from growing there. Animals survive grassland fires by running away or hiding in underground burrows. European white storks and other grassland birds sometimes hunt at the edge of fires. They snatch up insects and other small animals that are trying to escape the flames. European white storks live in Eurasia and Africa. On plate nine with the grasshopper, it says grasses grow from the base or bottom of their leaves. This allows the plants to keep growing after grazing animals clip off the ends. Some small animals, such as grasshoppers, eat grass one leaf at a time. Others eat large amounts of grass as they graze. Different kinds of animals eat different parts of the grass plant. This ensures that the grass can feed many animals. Ebony grasshoppers, black-tailed prairie dogs, and pronghorns, one of the fastest mammals in the world, live in grasslands of North America. On plate 10, this is important nutrients in grass seeds help many grassland animals survive. Some animals search for seeds that have fallen to the ground. Others take the seeds right off the plants. Uh, parakeets, I don't know what that actual name says, <laughs> are small parrots that live in huge flocks in Australian grasslands. They often fly long distances to search for seeds. Oh, let's try it. But grigers are popular pets. On plate 11, some grassland predators are big enough to hunt large grazers. Small predators hunt for prey such as insects. Maimed wolves, the largest members of the wild dog family in South America, hunt small animals, including mammals, birds, reptiles, and insects. 
Their long legs may help them see over tall grass. The wolves also eat fruit and other parts of the plants. On plate 12, because there aren't many places for large animals to hide on grasslands, they often move around together in herds when they are looking for food and water. In large groups, there are more pairs of eyes and ears watching or listening for danger. So predators have a harder time sneaking up on them. Lions often hunt common zebras and blue wildebeests of Africans or on African savannas. Right, on plate 13, some grassland animals are able to run fast for long periods of time. Ostriches can run over 30 miles per hour for half an hour and reach speeds of over 43 miles per hour for short distances. They can run from predators because they cannot fly. Ostriches are the largest bird in the world and they live in Africa. Plate 14. Many grassland animals are able to hide from enemies or prey because they are camouflaged. Eurasian skylarks feathers are the same color as the grasses that they live among. Their homes are camouflaged too. They build grass nests on the ground where they are often hidden among plants. Eurasian skylarks live in open habitats in Eurasia and Northern Africa. On plate 15, underground bur burrows provide animals with places where they can hide from predators, store food, sleep, and raise babies. The burrows also provide shelter in very hot or very cold weather. American badgers have strong front legs and sharp claws that are good for digging. When in danger, American badgers can dig holes very quickly. They have several burrows or dens in their home range. American badgers live in North America. And plate 16, most of the crops grown all over the world are types of grasses. Much of the farmland in the world was once grassland. Grasses that provide food for people include wheat, corn, rice, oats, and sugar cane. People use grass seeds to make breads and cereals. Grassland animals provide people with milk and meat. On plate 17, for thousands of years, people all over the world have used grasslands for grazing domestic animals and planting crops. Many grasslands have been destroyed. It is important for people to restore and protect grasslands. Careful management will allow grasslands to continue providing homes for wildlife and food for people. Lesser prairie chickens of North America have become rare because of habitat destruction. All right, and that is the end of that book, guys. I hope you guys learned something. And I will be doing a project with grasslands shortly. All right.